Walker Evans was an American photographer best known for his work for the Farm Security Administration, documenting the effects of the Great Depression. His photos are always with simple and elegant compositions, a clear style and expressive portraits, and articulate publications have inspired several generations of artists. This image was taken in New York City in 1931. It was taken from a high perspective and in black and white. However, according to the lighting of the street and the road, we are able to guess that it was a rainy day. Also, there were no pedestrians on the road, and make the image look very deserted. Walker Evans devoted most of his photographic projects to exploring the urban fabric and accumulation of signs. He was drawn to the decaying quarters of New York during the Depression especially to the building along the waterfront and the bowery that exhibited. The building in the image was a licensed photo studio located in New York in 1934. From my perspective, the image used the technique of the rule of thirds. The door was on the bottom right corner and the upper third seemed lighter where the bottom third seems to be darker. He documented the vernaculars for years but his own life was very different from the subjects he photographed, who were mostly poor rural farmers. He was born into a wealthy family, so he didn't identify with his subjects. He combined social documentary and aesthetic criticism, trying to convey the harsh living conditions and extreme poverty of the rural population to an audience that was unaware of the situation that was devastating the country. This photograph was called Alabama Tenant Farmer's Wife, taken in 1936. He actually made four photographs of Ellie Mae Burroughs against the rear wall of the family cabin. Although compositions were similar, they recorded distinct facial expressions. In a groundbreaking book, Let Us Now Praise Famous Men, Evans presented a more close and irritated Ally May, a trouble victim of both the depression and the camera's burrowing eye.